Hello reception and welcome to your maths lesson today. Today we're going to be carrying on our learning about worded problems, okay? So I hope that you did okay with your addition of worded problems yesterday and today we're going to be looking at worded problems using subtraction. So can you tell your adults now what does subtraction mean? If we're subtracting, what are we doing? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to tell your adults now. Okay, so if we're subtracting, it means that we are taking away. And what did we say happens to the total if we're taking away? Does the total get bigger or does it get smaller? You tell your adult now. The total gets smaller. Well done. Okay, so a worded problem is something we have to solve, but instead of numbers, it's words. So we have to read the problem to find out what we need to do to solve it. And we know that if the problem says that something is going to be more, then we need to add. So do you remember yesterday, um, one of the problems said that there were six camels and then five more came. We know that that means we're going to add because remember that more means bigger and adding is when we're making things bigger. But if the problem says that something is going to get smaller or be taken away, then we need to subtract. OK. So yesterday we were talking about the things we need to do to solve a problem. So the first thing we need to do is read it. Then we underline the numbers. Then we decide what we need to do. So whether we need to add, subtract or double. And then we work up the answer and then we can write the answer. So here's our first problem today reception and we're going to read this one together. Are you ready? There are 14 fish in a tank in the shop. One day a girl buys six fish. How many fish are left? Hmm, okay, so let's go back to what we need to do. So we need to read the problem which we've done and then we need to underline the numbers. So I'm going to do that now. So 14 is the first number. And six is the next number. Okay, so there are 14 fish in a tank in the shop. One day a girl buys six fish. How many fish are left? Okay, reception. Are we adding? Are we going to be adding today? If there are 14 and a girl buys six of them, so she buys six and takes them away, what are we going to be doing? Adding or subtracting? Can you tell your adult now? We're going to be subtracting, aren't we? Yes, we're going to be subtracting today. So now we can work out the answer together. Okay, reception. So now we're going to work out the answer together. So the problem said that there were 14 fish in the tank. And then a girl comes and buys six fish. Okay, so she's taking six fish away. So now we can work out the answers. There were 14 fish and then a girl took six away. How many fish are left? So I'm going to do my counting backwards today. So I'm going to have 14 in my head and I'm going to count back six. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So there are eight fish left. Now, reception, to work out your answers today, you can count back, you can do it in your head, or you can go and get things to count with, and you can work the answer out like that. Well done. Okay, so we found our answer, so now we can go back and we can write our answer in. Okay, so we found out the answer, and we know the answer is eight. So there are 14 fish in the tank, a girl buys six fish, there are eight fish left because we did 14, take away six, and the answer is eight. Okay, let's look at our next problem. So there are 17 bananas in the fruit bowl. 10 children choose a banana for their snack. How many bananas are left? Okay, so let's go and see what we need to do. So we need to read the problem which we've done. And then we need to underline the numbers. Okay, so let's look here. So we can underline 17. 
and then 10. And then we need to decide whether you've got to add, subtract or double. So let's see. So there are 17 bananas and then 10 children choose a banana for their snack. So they eat the bananas. OK, so 17 bananas and then 10 children eat a banana. So what do you think we're doing? Are we adding or are we subtracting? Have a talk now with your adult and decide whether we're adding or subtracting. Do you think perception? Yes, we are subtracting. Well done, because their 10 children are taking the bananas away. So we are subtracting. So now we know that, we can work out the answer together. Okay, reception, so now we can work out our answer together. So we had 17 bananas in the bowl and then 10 children took a banana away. So 10 bananas were taken away. How many do we have left? Okay, so we're doing 17 subtract 10. So I'm gonna do this in my head. You can work out the answer however you want. If you want to get things to count with, you can do that. Okay, so 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven. So there were 17 bananas in the bowl, 10 children took a banana and there were seven bananas left. So now we can go back and write our answer in. Okay, so we know that the answer is seven bananas are left. Okay, we're going to look at this one together now. So Sam bakes 19 cakes. He gives Bella two and then he gives Kevin one. How many cakes does Sam have left? Oh this one's a bit tricky isn't it? Okay let's see so what's the first thing we need to do? We need to read the problem which we've done and then we need to underline the numbers. So Sam bakes 19 cakes. He gives Bella two and he gives Kevin one. Okay, so what do you think we're doing today? Are we are we um, adding or are we subtracting? If Sam bakes cakes and then he gives them away, are we adding or are we subtracting? But can you tell your adult now what you think we're doing? Yes, we're subtracting. Well done, because he's giving cakes away. So we're subtracting. So we need to work out how many cakes are left so we can do that now together okay so sam had a nine so he had 19 cakes and then he gave two to bella okay so he took away two and then he gave one to kevin wow look at that we've got three numbers that we've got to or two numbers we've got to subtract so we had 19 and then he gave two away so let's do that first so we need to do 19 take away two are you ready so 19 18 17 but then he gave away another one 16 now this is a little bit trickier okay because you have to first take away this number and get the answer and then you have to take away this number so that one is a little bit trickier and what i've done today is i've set you some worded problems of your own to try and i have given you one like this but it's the challenge so mum and dad if the children are struggling to get this one please don't worry because this is a challenge for them and just see if they can do the other questions that i've set if they want to have a go at this challenge that's great but it is a challenge okay it is meant to be tricky for them so don't worry if they aren't understanding that just yet so reception i want you to go onto your google classroom now or look at the email get the work and then have a go and send it back to me well done for your super listening today and i will speak to you soon bye